Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to the video. My name is Anthony Llanos and I just want to welcome you to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to go to Catskill and if you might be wondering what is Catskill. So here in New York, if you're coming to New York, you might be thinking about, oh, like I'm just going to go to Times Square, to all these places in the city. I'm going to show you a beautiful place here in New York. And if you are interested in this, uh, we're going to head today to Catskill. This is a really nice place if you want to see nature, if you want to swim and if you want to see different waterfalls so i'm going to show you what to do and the things that you can expect in this place so right now it's going to be 5 a.m in the morning and we're going to head right now so stay tuned <laughs> Like I said before, we arrived there around seven in the morning. So we left Queens, New York around five in the morning. So it took us between two hours and two hours and a half. So in here, I'm gonna show you the parking lot so you can park your car because over there is gonna be really hard to find parking. And make sure you actually download these in, in your phone because it's gonna be hard for you to get around because there is no signal. If you wanna call someone, it's gonna be really hard. So the parking here is gonna be really good if you come before eight o'clock in the morning because as the time goes, you'll see a lot of people coming by and stay in these parking spots. So in order to get off the parking lot, you need to follow the trail to get to the waterfalls. So make sure you water, uh, follow the trail. And as you go down, make sure you are very careful with the cars because there is not gonna be a pedestrian walk. So you need to battle with the cars. So you need to be very, very careful to whatever you're walking because you're gonna be able to see a lot of cars on the way down. Okay, so right now we're in Caddis Skills, and then you need to walk down all the way from all the way up, all the way down. So we decided to just keep climbing and make sure that when you are climbing, this is gonna be a long climb. So as you can see, I brought a bag with a lot of drinks, a lot of food because it was a really long walk. We went with around eight people in this specific trip and we really had a really good time in there. The Kerebe Skill Fall is 260 feet or 79 meters tall in height, making one of the highest waterfalls in New York. The waterfalls are one of the American oldest tourist attractions. North Americans tended to regard these mountains and valleys upstate in New York as an unsafe region populated by savage natives. But this was like a long, long time ago. The Kerebe Skill Falls Trail was built during 1967, and this is just gonna be a quick tip for you guys. Make sure you follow the trail don't get off track because otherwise something bad is gonna happen many many falls or many deaths have happened in these around this area so make sure you follow the trail and you'll be safe this is just incredible the way that it looks and the falls and everything as you can see behind me can you see all the way up and definitely worth the hiking from from the parking lot all the way right here it took us between like an hour and a half this is a quick piece of information as you can see many people piled up the rocks on top of each other as you can see in this cliff and that's kind of like a thing here in Caroskill waterfalls so you'll be able to see a lot of them on the floor so after this fall we decided to just go on top of the mountain and actually see the viewing platform from the top of Caterskill waterfall it was okay i wouldn't say like it was definitely worth it hiking i actually like it if you the view from all the way down to up okay so this is gonna be the viewing platform if you want to come it's gonna be located very far all the way from down all the way up after Caterskill waterfall we decided to just head down to the phone sleep and here you can go walking because it's gonna be really hard to find parking personally if you want to move your car from that parking spot there is only gonna be two uh, places that you can find parking whatever i'm pointing the arrows at as you can see right there 
uh, it's gonna be really hard to find parking. I uh, personally wouldn't recommend you to move your car because by this time you'll be able to see a lot of people around the area and it's really it's really hard to just find parking overall. It's gonna, if you decide to take your car and try to find parking, you can find parking uh, somewhere around the area but you still need to walk at least 10 to 20 minutes. If you leave your car where you where we stayed at in the parking lot in the Cater School Waterfall, it's gonna take you around 30 minutes from there, walking all the way to the phone sleep, but it's gonna secure your spot. I'll definitely recommend you that. Okay guys, so this is called the phone sleep and you can dive all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. So this is roughly like at least like 12, 20 feet under the water, so it's pretty deep. So it's, if you want to dive in here, it's pretty secure on that. A really quick tip for you guys, if you decide to swim in this water, and make sure that you are really aware of your distance between the middle and your distance between the, the corners because if you're gonna be in the middle swimming, keep in mind a lot of people are gonna be jumping from all the way up. So just be aware of that. <laughs> okay guys, so right now we're gonna go and jump all the way from the hill. The phone sleep, and the only way that you can actually get from there, you can you can even climb, you can even climb the, the falls right there, or you can go all the way around and jump from the top. If you want to, let's jump. Come on, Mama, jump. And let me tell you, it took me 30 minutes to jump from that cliff. I was so scared, but I finally did it. So it was definitely worth it. And for some reason, if you're not able to do it, you're gonna find a lot of people cheering you up all the way from the shore, all the way from the cliffs. They're gonna be cheering you up. <laughs> Cumpleaños feliz tatara. Feliz a ti, a ti, a ti. If you wanna come all the way to the leap holes, you gotta make sure that you're gonna leave from the main entrance or the main way of the road. And then you're gonna go all the way down and you, then you can find the falls in there. And just for your information, so these ones are gonna be a different part of the phone slip. Remember the place that we were going up in the rocks? So instead of going up, you can definitely go down and you're gonna be able to find this spot. And this spot is more relaxed. You're gonna be able to swim and you're gonna be able to just chill if the thing that you like is just swimming and you don't wanna jump from the cliffs. This is an activity that you should definitely go and it's closed by the phone slip. Okay guys, so this one should be, it's gonna be located around the, the Pons Leap and it's really really nice as you can see.
all right all right all right guys so today is gonna be the next day after the phone sleep and the cater skill waterfall so i just gotta tell you i'm exhausted until the next day and i just want to conclude this video by saying thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more traveling tips if you want more things about traveling in general and thank you so much and i'll talk to you later peace